So, in this part of the course, we'll be talking about matrix calculus. How to differentiate scalar functions with respect to vectors. How to differentiate scalars with respect to matrices. How to differentiate vectors with respect to vectors. How to differentiate vectors with respect to matrices. And how to differentiate matrices with respect to matrices. And so on. Generally speaking, this section of the course is especially important for those of you interested in machine learning and deep learning because in many machine learning algorithms you are regularly faced with matrices or expressions involving matrices and vectors for example for one machine learning algorithm you are faced with this expression right here and you want to get the maximum value for this expression which is the Gaussian distribution in higher dimensions but anyway you have this expression that is a function of this mu vector this is the mean vector and also a function of this covariance matrix right here and also the determinant of the covariance matrix right here and you want to optimize this expression to get the values for the covariance matrix sigma and the mean vector mu that will maximize this expression now you know from calculus rules that you will need to differentiate this expression with respect to mu and also with respect to sigma so you will need to know how to differentiate such a complex expression with respect to the covariance matrix and to the mean vector and you need matrix calculus to do this actually this same expression is one of the examples I will solve as we proceed in this section one of the other topics you would need matrix calculus for is the topic of neural networks or deep learning. You see, deep learning depends on some algorithm called the backpropagation algorithm and this algorithm depends heavily on partial differentiation in order to minimize some error function E. Now, this error function E that you will be trying to minimize is a function of some parameters we call those parameters w1 w2 and those can really be millions or even billions of parameters so you might have up to let's say w10 power 7 or something like that so in the context of neural networks all of those are actually parameters that you need to differentiate your function right here with respect to in order to minimize your error function and while we could deal with every one of those independently, we generally don't do that. Generally speaking, we put all those parameters into matrices and vectorize all our calculations, which involve multiplications, additions, and differentiations because we want to use the full power of GPUs. Remember we said before that GPUs are really optimized for performing matrix operations in a parallelizable way. So we want to put all our calculations into matrix forms because this will allow us to use the full power of the GPUs. And so in our way to do this, we will find out that we are not differentiating this function with respect to separate parameters anymore. Instead, we will actually put those parameters into groups of matrices. Let's call them capital letters W1 as a matrix, W2, and so on. And we will be trying to differentiate this error function with respect to this matrix and with respect to this matrix and so on. Sometimes inside this backpropagation algorithm, we actually try to differentiate even matrices with respect to matrices. Again, those differentiations, again, those differentiations might not hold a lot of meaning on their own, but we do this in order to optimize our calculation. So you might not find a lot of intuitive meaning for this matrix matrix differentiation, for example, but you must know that we do this for the sake of optimization. Generally speaking, you will need those ideas for, let's say, matrix-matrix differentiation if you are writing softwares that will somehow implement the backpropagation algorithm. For example, if you will be contributing in the coding process of, let's say, the TensorFlow library, then you will find yourself doing some things like that. Anyway, that's about this section, and as prerequisites for this section, I need you to be familiar with differentiation, partial differentiation, and the chain rule, and we will build upon that to extend to higher dimensions.